Hello, welcome to my tech fam. I'm Igor, and approximately a year ago I presented Mintian Bigel camera for 3D printing. And uh, this is one of those products which I'm regularly using, it is always connected to my NS3 S1. It is some kind of octoprint replacement, but much cheaper, easier to set up, we don't need a separate Raspberry Pi and camera and similar. To be clear with the possibilities, uh, most of the reviewers will mention that uh, yes, you can create a time lapses, but for me more important is that I can start the printing remotely from my computer, I don't need uh, to transfer the files with the SD card, and then I can uh, monitor the printing over the camera, over the computer or the app, and even if I'm not at home, if there is any problem, I can, I can pause or stop the printing. In that early version I could just change the temperature and that was it, but I was missing some other functions which uh, I could do um, if I start the printing over the printer, like I don't know, uh, fan or printing speed, flow rate, uh, Z offset and similar. And I can see that uh, more and more features they are adding to this uh, camera. Now there are two main issues which couldn't be uploaded uh, by the firmware. Uh, one of them is the mounting. It arrived with some small disc and it was too small, so uh, it was very uncomfortable for the placing on a desk. But uh, I have great solutions, even two solutions for this. Uh, with one, if you have a threaded insert for the camera, then, then there is one very simple printing. And the other is you can print a very simple part and you can place it on uh, GoPro cameras. The second issue I had with this, uh, uh, that was that it works only on 2.4 GHz. My main network here at home works on 5 GHz, so my solution was that I have an um, old router which I'm actually using as a Wi-Fi extender in my working room, and there I have 2.4 GHz. Now this new camera uh, should work on 5 GHz too, so I will test it, and, but uh, let's see what's in the box. Separately I got this uh, USB 2.0 cable because I didn't mention on which printer I want to use because uh, if it, it uses uh, this plug then uh, I have to use this cable but I'm not sure is it included on the standard package. Sticker some uh, user manual. This is the camera, this is the plug for the data out, probably the reset button and this is the USB probably for the charging no this is for the power and this is place for the SD card and looks like small thing but I believe that this is very useful improvement because uh, it is much easier to place the position of the camera well, a lot of parts uh, below it so we have this uh, charger which uh, output has uh, 5 volts and 1 ampere a ah, small tripod with the ball head and cables for connection. These two cables are included in the box. Uh, this is Type-C, I will use it for the power of the camera, but the second one is a micro USB uh, and uh, this is uh, for the connecting with the printer, but I want to use it with the NS3 S1 Pro, which also has the plug for the USB Type-C, so I just have to use my own cable for the data transfer. The black is my own cable, it will be a data cable. And the white one is the power cable. Camera is ready for Wi-Fi connection. After powering on, I heard a voice that it is ready for the Wi-Fi connection. I can see the green LED is blinking. And then I have to install the bigger print camera and create an account. But I already did because I the same application I'm using with the old camera. And this is the picture from that camera actually. As I mentioned, it is uh, used as an IP camera now. Plus, and the simplest version, uh -huh, there is the bigger version too. And the simplest uh, method to add the camera is the QR scan configuration. Yes, I heard the voice, everything is connected. I have to enter my Wi-Fi password here. And this QR code has to be scanned by the camera. It recognized the QR code and uh, probably now it set the Wi-Fi to itself and store it. No success. In my second attempt I tried to connect to 2.4 GHz network. Successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. 
connected to the Wi-Fi and I can see the picture from both cameras. Now I had a problem with the 5 GHz network, maybe because I'm using the old camera too. So only when I switch to the 2.4 GHz, now it's working correctly. Let's turn on the printer. Because now it says printer is disconnected because it's turned off. I can see the picture from the camera and it is already connected to the printer, but let's see quickly the settings. So here you can change the time zone, Wi-Fi settings, time-lapse settings. We have different types of the codex, obviously, which has a better quality. Firmware updates, so very easy to update the firmware if necessary. Night Vision T, okay. I think it is time to switch to the computer. Ah, yes, but I need the IP address. And this is the IP address I need to enter into my browser. So this is the IP address I got from the application and these are the settings properly I can change this during the printing and uh, I can see I can set the hot end speed, uh, feed rate, flow rate, is this the printing speed maybe? And then I can, oh, I can move the Z offset, very useful, I, I was missing this option in the early versions. And here I can change the temperature for the hot end or hot bed and these are the list of the printable files, I can upload one and start the printing from my computer. Mm, let's see other settings here, time-lapse videos, uh, but I don't have any so far. 2D, 3D review, probably during the printing we can see this uh, review or preview. And uh, G-Con reading also during the printing, and this is more important for me, settings, language, time-lapse videos. So we have different options, probably one of those will move to the corner the nozzle during the Z layer changing and create a picture but is, don't forget to increase the printing time and maybe some more stringing and this is I'm curious about so which of these two video codecs will give us better video quality I already changed this frame per seconds to 25 if you are in US you should use 30 printer ah yes I already said this from the application but I can do it from here firmware update I have the latest version but from here also I can update the firmware if necessary this is Ultimate Recure, I'm preparing the G-code and this is that Creality's uh, test file, that uh, small dog. And by default uh, the printing time will be 1 hour and 26 minutes, but of course I want to compare two time lapses with the different video codec. I want to compare the quality, so properly the printing time will be much longer. Now let's talk about these time-lapse modes. The clean time-lapse video will move the nozzle to the side and then create a picture, but this increases the printing time and increases the possibility of the stringing but uh, in first two time lapses I want to compare the video codec so uh, this is not important for me I, I will leave the normal time lapse video and properly it creates the picture when it moves to the layer which uh, mostly doesn't wobble so much depend where is the Z offset currently and I will start with this default age 264 and then I will try the MJPEG it's time to upload our file The upload could be a little bit faster, but of course depend on your Wi-Fi connection. And it's there, and here I can start the printing. Load and print. And again I'm next to the printer and I have my phone with me, because my computer is in different room, and from here I can follow the printing and do some settings. So here I have the temperatures, I have to wait until the bed heats up. And uh, here I can set, uh, you know, flow rate, uh, feed rate, uh, fan speed. And for me, currently, most important is the Z offset. I hope it works correctly. The printing starts, but uh, properly the Z offset I don't have to change because I already used this printer several times, and uh, I think it's set correctly already. The start is good and basically I have to wait until it will be printed, but we will see soon the time lapse from the camera. Printing is in progress, 17% and actually now I can show you the 2D review. So this is the current layer printing. This is 3D version. And this is the G-code which is running now correctly. And this is what I can see from my app. Printing is at 52%. And this is what I can see from my computer.
the printing is finished and now I will change the video codec mode to the JPEG and the reprint is test stock and then I will compare the quality of two timeless videos. I just got the message that the printing is finished. The quality is nice but it depends on the printer and I can see that the seams line is not actually a line but different uh, position points. This means that this type of the time lapse will not be so nice uh, but I will check the compression quality and then I will create some nice time lapses too. Time lapse videos and uh, these are those two videos so you can see uh, JPEG and this is with H264. Let's download both and then I will compare the quality. And here they are side by side. For MJPEG I had to use the VLC player to convert it so I can import to editor, but H264 looks better anyway. I already checked the video codecs and I like better the H264. And now let's try the clean time lapse video, which means that the nozzle will always move to the side between two layers when it creates a picture for the time lapse. That was a recording of one frame and I forget to change this in the settings. With the smaller objects it don't have to go to the zero Y coordinate. It can uh, only move to the side. This means the Y should be around uh, 110 millimeters. And in this case the focus can be exactly here where the printing is. Because don't forget when it moves into front, in that case the focus is different compared to the position where it's printing. And this is the final result and uh, it looks great but uh, don't forget that you need a constant light for this. Uh, daylight is better because this camera has a small sensor and I'm using codec H264. This video is not about the CD printer but let's compare the quality. And actually if your filament is dry and you have good settings in that case the quality of the printing should be similar. And just few strings I can see on this part here but basically they are very equal. All three. And final thoughts, a great little product for the really affordable price. If you are printing regularly and you hate transferring the files over the SD card, definitely this may be a good solution for this. And also for the longer prints, I don't feel too comfortable to leave my home and uh, printing unattended. So definitely I uh, feel much better if I can check my printings. And if there is any problem, in that case, uh, I can uh, pause or stop the printing. But don't forget that you have to start the printing over the camera. If you start it over the printer, in that case, you can use the camera like IP camera, but uh, you cannot involve, you cannot stop the printing. Now, a space for improvements. Um, well, uh, this uh, tripod... Um, it's a little bit slippery, so it will be good to have some kind of rubbery fits on the bottom. And uh, it would be good to have a little bit better quality bar head. In my case, it is very hard to move it, so definitely some, a little bit better uh, quality bar head would be better. I noticed that more new printers arrive with the Type-C plug, and uh, maybe the Mintian could have an option during the shopping that what type of the printer you have. If you want to have two Type-C cables, one for the power and the other is for the connection, or maybe what is included in my kit, uh, Type-C plus micro USB. And also it would be good to, uh, for Minton to check the settings because for the die driver extruders uh, the retraction definitely shouldn't be 5 mm but reduce it to 1 mm approximately. Of course we can change it ourselves but uh, not everybody is familiar with this kind of things. But these are small issues uh, for the camera. Uh, well, maybe a few more options it would be good to see, but uh, definitely for what I am using now it is uh, great. Uh, I couldn't make it to work with 5 GHz network for some reason, I'm not sure why. Maybe because uh, in app I'm using both cameras, but the old one definitely supports only 2.4 GHz. Well, for me that's fine, it's working, but uh, also you have the list of the supported CD printers on the Mintion uh, website, so you can check if your printer is supported. If you have some additional experience, you know, flow lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!